Hey, I'm Chris Draper, I'm just running through a little bit on how the wing works. Got a little bit to build here for the time. Building now. The whole wing's carbon with the majority of the fittings in the control table, titanium. And then the covering that the wing is actually covered in originally was food shrink wrap. They're very delicate, they're very fragile, but they do provide incredible performance. Uh, we've got two different ways of controlling the wing. The wing sheet, which is on a classic winch, like a ceramic drum winch. This is pretty much controlled by the guys at the front that are doing the grinding. And then the other major control that I have is the twist control. It's a pr proportional joystick, so if I move it down a small amount, it moves the twist a couple of degrees and move it down one big throw and it moves it sort of 10 degrees. So generally when we're sailing up wind or reaching, we'll be on large amounts of twist and when we're sailing downwind, we'll be on less twist. The other one is the camber, so that's the actual depth in the wing, which is kind of like your out haul on a normal boat. Um, we can play that here with hydraulic rams. Camber's going into the wing, that's making the wing deeper. So when we want more power or boats sailing at slower speeds like downwind or in light air, then we can increase the camber and the depth in the wing. We can retract it, that pulls the camber, pulls the shape out. So on a really windy day, up, upwind or reaching at really high speeds, we're sailing quite low camber angles, try and reduce the side load in the wing and get the, the leading edge of the wing at the correct angles. I think there's kind of an image that the computers are doing it for us all, but unfortunately that's not the case. It's, it's pretty much us all and really, really good teamwork to make the manoeuvres good.